We've had the world's press here today looking at the largest Anglo-Saxon gold find ever in the history of the United Kingdom and probably throughout the whole mainland Europe as well. Exquisite artefacts on display and they're going to be on display at Bir Birmingham Museum from the 25th of uh, September right the way up to the 13th of October. But it also shows exactly the level of civilization within the Midlands, then called Mercia, that existed in the 7th century, 623. So those people that think that the world ended at the end of the Romans and, the Romans and started at the beginning of the medieval time now know that the Anglo-Saxons here were sophisticated, we have evidence of that, and of course we gain our language from Mercia and Anglo-Saxons. It will teach us more about our heritage and let's all unite together so that we can keep the majority, if not all, of this collection here in the Midlands. It's rightful home. Now I've been privileged to have a look at them and I've been privileged to get right close to them. It is certainly something worthy to come to. And the professors and the experts have said that the level of sophistication between the gold, the silver and the garnet is exquisite. It is some of the best level of, uh, of jewellery work, artistic work, that they have ever seen. You know, and also it is an English style, so it was more than likely all made here. This museum was opened in 1887 and it's hosted some tremendous exhibitions but when this exhibition is, uh, is open to the public it will rank as one of the best. You know, 400,000 people have already been to this museum since April uh, and we would like to think many, many more people will come now and enjoy the spectacle of our legacy around the Anglo-Saxon finds. We have, for 19 days, a the biggest Anglo-Saxon gold hoard treasure that, uh, that's been found in you know in the last well, ever actually uh, here on display at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery, and it's, it's just, it's, it, it, this is of international significance. And we've got you know all whole display of artifacts that are absolutely beautiful, some of the finest Anglo-Saxon uh, jewellery uh, you'll see. And it's here at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. And this weekend you've got the Matthew Bolton, the final weekend of the Matthew Bolton. Uh, exhibition uh, of you know, this, the, probably the founding father of uh, Birmingham you know, in the Industrial Revolution, and it's free. So you know, what a great weekend out! You got the, a free exhibition on Matthew Bolton, one of the founders of Birmingham, and you got a free exhibition on probably you know one of the most, if not the most important, Anglo-Saxon finds uh, this century, last century. What more can you ask for? Free. Nope. Just come from the suburbs of Birmingham. Um, we come, because we saw it all on the television, we heard it on the news before, yeah. when it was found. Um, we just came up very, very early this morning to catch it. We've been waiting outside for ages. There's loads of people all outside. We just fired with imagination to come and see it. We've been to Sutton Hoo. We've seen Sutton Hoo. We've seen the Sutton Hoo board in, in London. Yeah. Fantastic to have this in there. Absolutely fantastic. And it's free. I am a regular visit, visitor. And I saw the uh, um, van outside yesterday morning and wondered what it was all about. I inquired and um, it's been big, big on the news. And uh, I came for my cup of coffee as usual this yeah. morning. And uh, I was sort of one of the first in the queue. I came up from Old Church this morning. Uh, this is a chance of a lifetime. Um, it's the, it's the biggest hoard unearthed in this country and possibly in Europe. Um, I just wanted to be one of the first to see it and it's such a privilege. It's one of those tingly moments. Um, I can't describe how it feels to look at something um, that, that's been buried for the last 13, 1400 years. Um, and I just look forward to seeing all the rest of it um, and hopefully it will come back to Birmingham. Um, we can only hope that that, that happens. Um, this is the second city, this is a foremost museum in the country, and it should be here. It, it, it can't go anywhere else. Um, my name's Helen, and I'm from Coventry, and I came down because there was coverage on the TV this morning, and I'm a history teacher, so oh. I love anything to do with artefacts and the Anglo-Saxons, and it's a really amazing board, so it's